um, to evaluate what we call the functions. So the special notation f of x is read of is read as f of x or f at x. Y is a function of x represents the value of the function at the number x. So basically, um, f of x is like a nickname that is given to y. So for example, my sister's name is Crystal, but I can call her Chris, or I can say Miha or whatever. And doesn't matter what I call her, whether I use her name or something else, she's just still gonna be Crystal. So in math, um, we are used to working with, let's say Y, the dependent variable. Well, instead of Y, we can say, um, call it F of X. Okay. And so that's still gonna be the same thing. So for example, if you have F of X is equal to three X plus four, then this equation y equals 3x plus 4 is actually um, the same thing f of x is just y the only reason is the notation the second one y equals 3x plus 4 this is just an equation but here we're saying that it's the function that we're looking at so it's the same um, thing it's just a nickname for y so how do we work this out so what we want to do is we want to evaluate the function so what you want to consider here is that the number in the parentheses is representing um, your x that's taking place of x. And so if we want to evaluate f of x is equal to x plus 5, then anywhere that you see this x, you're going to replace it with the number in the parentheses, in this case, 3. So we have 3 for x and then plus five. So here's x instead of x, I wrote three. So now if I simplify f of three is equal to eight. All this is saying is that whenever x is three, you're getting the eight. So here x is three and your result was eight. Okay, so your answer is this right here. So if we find f of zero, same idea. In this case, what we're replacing for x is a zero. So anywhere you see an x, we're replacing it with zero. So f of zero, zero plus five is five. So my answer is um, five. Same thing here. I'm replacing x with a negative one. So f of negative one would be negative one plus five, which is four. And last, um, we have f of x equals x plus five. So x is gonna be replaced with whatever's in the parentheses, in this case, a. And there's nothing I can do with a plus five, so that just stays as a plus five. They're not common terms. So let's try example eight. So anywhere you see an X, we're gonna replace it with the number two. So here I have an X, so I'm gonna replace it with two. And here I have an X, so I'm gonna replace it with two. So I get 10 minus three times two squared is four. Negative three times four is negative 12. 10 minus 12 is negative two. So my answer is negative two. Um, I would like for you to try um, letter B. If you do this correctly, your answer is going to be negative 38. Uh, please reach out to me if you don't get this answer so that I can work it out for you. Um, the next one, letter C. So now X is going to be replaced by whatever is in the parentheses, which is this whole thing. So my equation is F of X equals 10 minus 3X squared. So anywhere that I see an X, I'm going to replace it with X minus one. So here's an X. 
and then we want to simplify. So x minus 1 squared is the same as x minus 1 times x minus 1. So we're going to multiply these out. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. Negative 1 times x is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And then let's distribute this 3. So we have negative 3x squared plus 3x plus 3x minus 3. Gather your like terms. So we have negative 3x squared plus 6x, 10 minus 3 is 7. So my answer is negative 3x squared plus 6x plus 7. Okay, the next one, we have f of x is 2x squared minus 4. Here we're substituting negative 1 for x. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. Two minus um, four is going to be negative two. And then the next one is f of x is equal to two x squared minus four. So I'm going to replace my x with x. So and instead of x, I'm going to replace it with x, which is the same thing. So my answer is just going to be the same equation. So f of x is just itself. And then last, um, 0. So I'm going to replace x with 0. 0 squared times 2 is 0, so we end up with negative 4. 